Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another spe uh, show for the Harvest Light Show. Uh, today, we have a special guest with me today, Mr. Tommy Clark. Tommy, nice to have you here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Because uh, I've been w wanting to speak to you, talk to you, interview you. Because, uh, you know, you have a lot of stories. You have a lot of history with the Twin Cities and, you know, the suburbs over here. Um, you've been here for two years. I've known you very well. You've, you've done barbecue for us. You've, you know, they're really good, man. And um, I want to ask you, like, how did you hear about us first? And then tell us something about Tommy Clark, you know, because you have a lot of history. So tell us something that we don't know about Mr. Tommy. Well, the, the way I heard about Northwest is I was watching television and I seen one of the commercials and I thought to myself, you know, you've always kind of been interested in photography and you just recently, I, you know, I was in school and I had taken a film class and I don't know, it just seemed to me that maybe that goes together. Uh, but I can say two years later, it does. Uh, I understood a lot about film after I start actually getting in the studio and uh, editing and learning about the, the, the camera. Um, it's been a, one heck of an experience. Um, it's so nice. I mean, it, you want to come back, you know, when you start taking the classes and then you want to keep pursuing it. Um, have a lot of things that I want to do. Uh, and I know within time uh, it'll happen. But I just like when I come here, it's like coming home because everybody is so nice and you know, you want people to learn. I would recommend them. I have recommended this to some people. I mean, you know, and some of them have uh, actually uh, did it. Uh, some of them was not in Hennepin County, so they had to go to the wherever the accesses were in their communities. Uh, but uh, yeah, I moved to Minnesota in 1958. Um, I started working at 14, working with children in the community. Uh, I've been in the community for many, many years. Uh, I, I'm, I have a passion for juveniles uh, because I think they're the ones that need the most uh, attention and help uh, from the whole community. Um, it's going to take the whole community to get them back on track. So you have, you want to help these juveniles, right? Yeah. These kids that need help uh, with the outside world, you know, just the world and have them understand what's what's happening, right? Yeah. You said you've, you've been helping them for how many years now? Oh, I would say since the early 60s. Oh yeah. Uh, I've been working with kids, yeah. Um, I recently finished uh, a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and so my focus is really uh, on the juveniles and the criminal justice system. Um, and like I say, uh, there's a lot of young women and young men that are uh, caught up in the system and I think uh, it will take the whole community to right that ship because these kids should be in school, they should be getting an education, not locked up in that system. Um, so uh, to all the parents out there and uh, the rest of the community, uh, we desperately need to pay some attention to that. Yeah, and you know, you volunteer your time here and you volunteer your time out there. Here, um, you know, you also volunteer, you help, you know, productions out you also yeah. create your own productions you also um for school you work for the school also yeah um video um what do you do you're a filmmaker i guess you know yeah. you go on location you fil you film stuff yeah you choose stuff you submit it you know you submit stuff here too mm -hmm. and it just a never dull moment when you come in you always have stories for us <laughs> you know it's like you know every time you come in it's like, oh i remember back in the time and you know, Robbinsdale back in the 1950s or something like that. Yeah. So you have, you always have stories. So, um, you know, so tell us, tell us a story. I mean, 
Well, no, I, I you know, back in the 60s, uh, I was probably 16 years old. I had a driver's license and a car. And there was a drive-in, you know, off of 81. And to get there. Is that there anymore? No, it's no, they, no they've torn it down. It, it, you know, Highway 81 over yeah, here. Yeah, right, yeah, right. As right soon over, as right you get here. through Robbinsdale, the, it was there. And every time we'd drive through there, we'd get pulled over. Now, I know that the officers were familiar with with us because they knew that car. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that my parents wouldn't allow me to drive it if it didn't have insurance on it. You know, and if I didn't have a license, there was no way that car was leaving my house. So, but uh, that was that was some of the things, and and we also bowled in Golden Valley in the same thing, maybe. You know, me and Jose, you met That's Jose. Right. Jose's a good guy. He, he, him, and Willie Dominguez, uh, we all bowled out there in Golden Valley, man. And I'm telling you, every week they stopped us. Every it, week. It's funny because every time you call. You know, either you're going to, you know, set some time or you're going to pick up the camera. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was like, hello? Oh, uh, what's up, Tommy? <laughs> oh, I hear some pins going down. Are you playing pool? Are you playing bowling? And, and you know, of course, you know, yeah. we can't. Yeah. You, we go, if I had to find Tommy in a certain place, it would be at a bowling alley, right? Most likely, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Or yeah. driving around, cruising around in your beautiful car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I am pretty busy in the... Uh, you know, I. Uh, You're a busy man. I happen to be uh, training over at the Spokesman Recorder, so uh, there's a lot of things happening over there, and uh, it's really a good place too. Nice people over there. Uh, our our chief uh, Tracy Williams Dillard uh, runs a really nice place to be to learn, uh, and all the people there are really friendly and they're helpful, just like here. See, so I actually have two houses to go to, yeah. where I feel just right at home. And you're, uh, and you're always welcome here. You oh know, man, I've, always I, told, I've always told people like right after like their their classes, you know, because they're not familiar with this place, mm -hmm. they don't know us very well. I was like, hey, if you want to go somewhere, you know, just to hang out, you can always yeah. come here. You know, meet new people. Yeah. You know, just yeah. hang out. We, I'm, yeah. I always tell them like, here's the catch: free Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> Free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants Wi-Fi. So I was like, I just told people, I was like, you know, you come here, mm -hmm. volunteer. You could just come here, hang out, do whatever you want. Yeah. It's a really fun place to be at. You it know, sure is, man. We're it's all cool. We're all funny. We're all, we all have stories. Look, you man, know? it's a, here, you don't know who you'll meet here. I mean, I've met so many different types of people that have their own shows. Um, I've got a chance to work with the Reverend Randy Smith on his show, uh, the first two Thursdays during the month, uh, uh, he puts on a good show, man, and uh, I couldn't be happier than to help him. And and then we got uh, uh, several others that, you know, when they call me and say, "Can you come in and help me?" That's uh, right. With they can always show. rely on you because. Oh yeah, man. I I mean I don't mind doing it, man. It's 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 yeah. really an honor to me uh, for somebody to want me to help them on their show. Because they're relying on your expertise, and they know you have skills. You you know what you're doing. That's what people call you. You know, or people are like, "Hey, do you know anybody?" I was like, "Well, I know a guy. I know I know a couple of people." I was like, "What what about Tommy? What does that sound like? I'll hook you up with that guy." Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love it, man. I, I I think for anybody out there that is looking for something to do and something to get in, Northwest. But, the place but to Tommy be. what if they're hesitating what if they're like oh, I don't know if I should go over there it'll I don't know what I'll be doing what well, if they're hesitating what would you tell them I would tell them it's just like when you're young and you're hungry or you're interested in something if if you hesitate and, and don't move forward you know nothing will happen for you but if you really uh, want to try something new something very exciting and interesting I would suggest to anybody uh, because when I first started coming, you know, I was in the, and you guys put me in the editing room, <laughs> you know, I was <laughs> going and I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but every time I asked someone to come and help me, they did. You, you always get that help, right? Sure. And so that part of it pretty soon helps you get your confidence. And I mean, like, 
you know, I had to go get someone because I didn't know what I was doing. And then after about, I don't know, three, four, four months of it, then pretty soon, you know, you it went through your mind. So then you kind of understood. And then all of a sudden, I, I just was doing it, you know, and I said, wow. And then uh, Barb told me, she said, see, if you keep coming here enough, you're going to pick it up. That's right. So, you know, I, I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I got some things in the community. They're already set. All I have to do is get the time to get to it. Um, I've been to the places and talked to people, you know what I mean? And, and, and some of it involves children. These are good, uh, feel good stories about uh, kids in the community that are getting help by these people that want to help these kids. And for this story, would you have I mean, are you going to be shooting this? Oh, or? yeah. So Definitely. let's say let's say we have some people here, right? Mm -hmm. Will they be willing to call you and help you on this on this project? Oh, yeah. I mean, how would you feel about somebody giving you a call and be like, oh, hey, man. you know, yeah. help it, me it, out? As many people that want to. I mean, you know, you never can have enough help. Because this sounds really good. I mean, you're trying to tell people, teach people, like, hey, these, these kids are our future. They can't they be... Uh, you know, they can't have that image of what we give them. Right. They, every, all kids are good if they understand they what's sure happening. Are. That's right. You know, and I really like want you to do this production, I mean, this this video. Yeah. This project oh, that'll be really happen. fun. That'll, that'll be really educational it's for a lot happen. of people. It's going to happen. Uh, like I say, when we get the time uh, to go over there and interview the director or meet with him first, I'm going to meet with him first and talk to him and let them know because I already talked to one of the guys uh, that works there and okay. he said yeah come and talk to our director man we'd love for you to come in here and show what's going some things that are good going on in the community and this is one of the great things that's happening yep. and, and it needs to be known yeah. people need to be able to see that there are good things going on because it, it could be catchy yeah exactly you I know? mean a community is a uh, it's a lot of people in, in a community, you yeah. know. It, it's, yeah. it's not like one person is going to help themselves. Right. People help them, you know, as a community. Yeah. So yeah. that's really good. I really I really hope you get this going. And, well, I do too. Because you know, if, if you have, if you ever need any help, we have mm -hmm. people here, volunteers, mm -hmm. or we could always recommend people like, mm -hmm. you know, studio managers well, or whatever. Well, this is what I like about this here, being here and coming here. Like I said, there's people from all walks of life that come through this building. You never know who you'll meet here. I, I, I mean, I worked with Mr. Weir. Oh, that's correct, Bill You Weir. know, with some politicians. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I met one and I was talking to him about the kids, about how much that they need help. Uh, and he wants to try to work on some legislation that's going to help these kids, man. And I think that's great. So well, this uh, is this is what I mean. You don't know, you know, mm -hmm. but if you got an open mind, open heart and, you know, you come to learn and to meet people. This is one of the best places. man. This is a this is a really good place. It is. I tell it people really it's like if you really want to succeed in what you're doing, if you have an idea, come here. Yeah. You know, things happen here. Yeah. You know, a lot of people come here just to hang out and stuff, but it's like, this is a really fun place to network also. It sure is. You get to know people who know people who know more, That's right. who know people who know people, you know? That's right. And these are people that you, are, really? How do you know that person? Oh, he's yeah. a cousin. It's yeah. a small world. Yeah. You'll be surprised it, to know that people know more people than... Hey, my own sister was had been here with my nephew, and I ne they never even. They, that, that's I, right. I just see him on holidays and stuff. They never even said <laughs> nothing to me, until you know who said it, Barb. She yeah. said, "Tommy Clark, yeah, you know Cheryl Clark, yeah, that's my sister. Really, that's <laughs> you it's know? a small world. And a small your world. nephew is like a really good musician too. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Yeah, he could like listen to a song for like a couple of seconds, like, oh, I got it." Yeah. He just starts playing it. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's quite gifted. In, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he's being tutored by a guy I grew up with that played in a band back in the day, Get So Facto. Okay. Wayne McFarland. Wow. Who is one heck of a musician. Wow. So he's tutoring him. So no he's way. in good hands. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look at that. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, man. So, All right. Well, Tommy, 
It's, re it's really nice having you here. Hey, man. Really appreciate you coming out. It's a pleasure. Thank you, man. And I have to say our time is out. But if everybody wants to come here, have fun, network or whatever, please contact us here. Uh, if you want any more information, please contact nwct.org or 763-278-4330. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.